Hi, this is Toby from Lift Tech Mobility. So in today's video, we're gonna to touch on uh, the two nasties you come up against, uh, cambers and curbs. So we're gonna talk about how we do a drop curb, a quarter curb, and then if the curb's too large, how you reverse up it to, to get up leading with the large wheels at the back. When we touch on cambers, there's two things to always remember. Cross steer into the camber and hold a steady um, momentum. So when we're going up things like drop curbs, you want to literally edge up so you're about a couple of inches away from the front and then just go up. So what happens, especially if you've got the large wheels, is your wheels will basically dig into the curb and climb it rather than bumping it. If you ever come off a curb, the best way to do it is just dead square on, slow and steady. Um, we would use that technique for dropped and quarter curbs. If you need to come off anything more like a half curb, you want to go fast because the last thing you want to experience is that dudum front wheels hitting the ground, dudum back wheels. It's going to cause a lot of pain in your back, um, like a bit of a jolt, and it's also not going to be good for the chair. So when I'm driving on the flat here, I basically want to be pointing my joystick at midday. However, when we've got something like this, which is a standard UK pavement with a left to right camber, when my wheels start to go like you saw them rolling off then, which they will on any single slope, you basically have to do a bit of cross steering. So what that is, is I steer just to the left slightly when my wheels feel like they want to start going. So I'm gonna take you around the corner now and I'll show you how we do that same technique with a quarter curb. Okay, so a minute ago, we did a dropped curb. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna do a quarter curb. So same principle. We're going to roll up to it, so we're just before we're touching, and we're going to go flat out. And what we're doing, the wheels are going to dig in, and it's a nice, safe way to get down it. So same again, we're going to go down it nice and slow. However, if you if the curb's too high to go up forward, it only leaves us with one thing to do. So we have to go up it backwards, leading with the rear tyres. The first thing we need to do is we need to slow ourselves a little bit of room. So the last thing you want to do is start too close to there because if you um, put it hard in reverse, the front wheels wouldn't have had time to flip. So first thing we do is compose ourselves facing forward. We put it hard into reverse until our rear wheels flip. Start that again, it didn't flip quick enough. Okay, we start it in reverse until our rear wheels flip. Then we stop, line ourselves up, and then we go straight back with our back wheels followed by our front wheels. If you follow that technique, it means you can go up to curbs basically. So about like that, which is a kind of a good solid half curb, which you would never stand a hope in hell of getting up with your front wheels. So I'm just going to go through that again. So if you're coming down with drop curb as well like this, nice and slow, takes the stress out of your back. Right, so stage one, slam it in reverse, let your wheels spin. Okay, stage two, stop. And I actually changed my grip now, so if we bring the camera here, when I'm going forward, I use this grip. When I'm going reverse, I use the pincer grip, and I basically pull the joystick back, dead in line with here, and that should keep me going pretty square. So as you see, it's quite painless. So, a little lesson in curbs, doing them the right way and the safest way, and also cambers. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're an experienced wheelchair user or a beginner, Every single electric folding wheelchair in the whole world will move on cambers. It is the nature of the beast. That's what also allows you, though, to spin around on your own axis so seamlessly. Um, so don't think the chair's broken or anything like that. It does take a level of skill. That's also something else to think about. Not every single person can get in a wheelchair and operate it and use the joystick perfectly from word go. All of these things take practice. So bear with it, work with the chair and work on your skill and over time you'll be able to master it and you'll be able to go from A to B comfortably, safely and confidently. Alright, thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.